whereas Gaza has been made into this horrific uh, medieval siege and uh, completely blockaded territory of a population that is mostly children, right now you're seeing across the rest of Palestine some utterly horrific shows of brutality. And, and what I would say is, for me in Gaza and for Palestinians and for those that have been well acquainted with the Palestinian issue, we are not surprised, sadly, by the revel of brutality. We are not surprised. But instead, we are seeing so many um, people around the world shocked by, the, by what's seen on the funeral of uh, Shireen, Shireen Abu Agla, and when people are being pushed around and bat beaten with batons, and you're getting Gary Lineker and, and um, you know, Piers Morgan, famous people in England, sharing it. 11 million people seeing that brutality. For us, we've seen it again and again and again. You're seeing Palestinians right now being forced out of a, another house in Hebron. And yet, right now, people around the world are seeing full on the level of Israeli brutality that is inflicted mm -hmm. on so many Palestinians. And that is the ongoing Nakba. But what I would say is, as the other gentleman said, people are waking up. There is no question. When you get famous people sharing it and 11 million seeing that horrific episode with the funeral of Shirin Abu Agla, you are seeing a massive change. And there is a youth movement in England. We're talking about what Israel said. They said that the, the young ones will forget, the old will die and the young ones will forget. Well, believe me, the youth in Manchester here, we have a big Nakba demonstration tomorrow. And, we, and it's the youth leading it. So they are not forgetting. They will carry on. And the world is changing right now. And they are changing every year. Just like May last year with the mass murder of 250 Palestinians, 67 kids in 10 days. This May, you have the Nakba again. And you have a journalist being killed in cold blood. And media is finally having to report it. People are waking up. And this is another sea change. Things are changing rapidly. You're seeing it with the Amnesty report. You're seeing it, as you say, with even Israeli ex-generals speaking out against what's happening. This is real. And finally, right. we might see an end to apartheid Israel, the, the system of horrific oppression against the Palestinians, just like we have seen the end of apartheid in South Africa. And I don't think it's that far away. The world is changing. People are waking up now.